We do a storm that is moving into the area as we speak, so it's starting to now nudge into Minnesota. It's going to arrive later on tonight. Temperatures will be much colder. We're talking very, very heavy snow, potentially up to a foot in some areas. Weather watcher right now is that bright green with that precipitation on the way. Temperatures still right now at 38 degrees. We're going to sit right about this level throughout the day before we see that colder air come in. So right now we do have a couple of 40s right now in Rochester, but much, much colder as you look to the north. OK, satellite radar just a little bit happening right now. Looks like we've got a bit of a rain snow mix, but look at what's to come. We have a whole lot that it's of moisture, a lot of cold air and a lot of wind that is making its way down actually from Alaska. Esme winter storm warning starts at 3 a.m. last until Tuesday. So coming up in just a couple of minutes, I'm tracking what we can expect for the morning commute, the evening commute all the way into Tuesday and wow. it changes as we go. All right, I know you've been following it all we've morning. Been, we've been following each model run, excited to see what the latest is. All right, thanks, Kylie. Well, our first snowfall of the year also means we will have to remember how to drive in the winter weather. As you heard from Kylie, the morning and evening commutes will be slow going. Rachel Slavic is live on the rooftop with more on how MnDOT is preparing. Rachel? Hi, Esme. Not a snowflake in sight right now, but we all know that that's going to be different tomorrow, especially for the morning commute. Now, MnDOT says its plow drivers are trained. The plows are ready to clear the more than 12,000 miles of roadways around the state. They've been prepared for months, but the issue issue is whether Minnesota drivers are ready for that first big snowstorm of the year. Auto body shops saw a huge rush of customers yesterday. People wanting to swap out the summer tires for the winter tires that have more traction. At some shops, the waits were anywhere from three to five hours. At Minneapolis Firestone, they say they saw an uptick of 30 percent in business. They expect to stay open today as well as other shops around the metro area to keep up with demand. We're increasing our staffing. We've increased our inventory levels to accommodate the increased traffic getting ready for the winter season. And as may, of course, those plows will be hitting the streets as soon as the snowflakes start flying. They've got some 1,400 plow drivers, 800 plows, and they typically work around the clock until the roads are cleared. In the past, it's usually 12 hour shifts. They're going to wait a little longer to figure out exactly what type of staffing for the snowstorm as may. Yeah, Rachel, we've been hearing a little bit, you know, in the past few months and even last year about a salt shortage. Uh, is that something that MnDOT is worried about? Right, a very tough winter across the country caused a salt shortage, but MnDOT says we don't have to worry about it here. They already have all their salt in stock. They were prepared for this and they actually started buying the salt and bringing it in last spring. All right, Rachel Slavic, thank you so much.